Hello friends, it is me, Raina, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the fuck, and I am back to screw some stuff up with some paint and have fun doing it and showing you maybe just something new and fun to try because this is a brand new thing that I am trying tonight. Well, tried and filmed and I'm now talking about. So this was actually, you know, two days ago, but hey, who cares? No one's counting, are they? Anyway, my pillow paint is color place satin. And Onyx, you know, my favorite go-to since I like things black and dark. But I'm mixing things up just a little bit this week. Instead of my absolutely loved This Little Piggy pigments, I'm using Boom Gel and Deco Art Extreme Sheen paints, which if you've followed me at all, you know I love those too. First color, Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Sterling Silver. <laughs> much loved, much covered in paint bottle. It's actually, I think it's empty and need more good stuff. Got three shades of Boom Gel tonight. Uh, Boom Gel is something that you have to order from Australia. Uh, you can get it on a website that I've got linked in the description below, fluid-art.co. So this is Pearlescent Mint, followed by Pearlescent Teal, and finished up with Mally Ringneck Blue. Now, the swipe I'm doing is actually going to be the first of three, and I use all the same colors. And I am topping it with, it's like the cousin of Extreme Sheen, but it's the um, American Decor Metallics by Deco Art in a tub, um, Obsidian. This is like the coolest shade of black. I can get it open, yeah, okay. So it's like super gloopy. Satisfying. I can't tip it too much or I'm going to spill it all over the place and that would make for kind of a shitty night. So, you know, I don't really want that to happen. Anyway, just, just for funsies, I'm going to show you this texture while, you know, you watch me swipe on the other side. Oh, my cell activator is Atelier. I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. Uh, titanium white. Okay, look at how gloopy this stuff is. Oh, it's so gross. It's kind of like what I imagined the tar pits would be like in La Brea, you know, where all the dinosaurs die. It's just like this gloopy, oh. But it's actually super satisfying and disgusting. You know, um, there's a reason some people think I'm crazy. Might be this. Oh God, don't you just, ugh. I love it and I'm disgusted at the same time. Okay, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Enough of my craziness because you've seen plenty of that already, but now I'm, well, I'm just kind of fascinated by that. I don't know how they make it so thick and gloopy, but it's like satisfying. It's like sticky pudding, but not the kind you'd ever want to eat. Unless you have pika or something and you eat paint for fun. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to marginalize you if that is you. Marginalizations aside and tubs of tarry black paint aside, here I have decided that I need more than just that initial swipe down the center, so I am adding matching swipes on either side, just smaller ones. My substrate is, <laughs> I think it's eight inches, <laughs> but it might be six. I mean, I measure like a man, so who really knows? But uh, is six inches or eight inches, either way it gets the job done. Ah! It's a tile. I really like painting on these tiles. These big ones are nice and they are uh, really easy to turn into other things like trivets if you want to do something trivial. <gasps> or you can put a frame around it and call it a painting. You know, just a breakable one, a fragile painting. Oh, boom gel. Boom gel is super fun. It makes some of the coolest cells. They're really different looking cells than um, other things uh, that you do with the bloom method. So here are two that like I'm not making videos for because I don't think they're the best. I kind of boned them, but here's the example of the cells that Boom Gel makes. I don't know why this got all lopsided, but it did. So, oh God, of course this light is gonna make everything so impossible, but look at those cells. Like they're so, here, if I do it in an angle, but that's cool. It's just a totally different effect. So. And it's easy. 
it's so easy. You don't even have to mix anything. All you have to mix is your cell activator. So it's like blooming for lazy people. It's the best. Like here's another one that I did with the boom gel. Um, another weird lopsided one that I probably won't show a video for, but you know, unless I come up with something really interesting here and embellish it, but who knows? So again, just check out how rad those cells are. Oops, God, it's a brand my tile right into my laptop. Yeah, Boom makes these really, really cool, well-defined cells. There's there's a few techniques to using it, even though I say it's like blooming for lazy people. Um, I'm including myself in that sometimes I just don't feel like mixing anything up and boom, there it is. There was a song about that in the 90s, right? It'll eat your cell activator if you put cell activator directly on boom. So you always have to have some sort of like a paint layer in between the boom and the CA, unless you're going for the eat your CA effect, which can be cool. You know, hey, try it, why not? You know, I use DecoArt Extreme Shame because it makes awesome cells all on its own. And I just thought the two combined, the boom and the extreme machine would maybe make something pretty cool. The execution of this particular piece here, let's just call it a zebra, it's a zebra piece, wasn't the best, but I got some pretty cool things out of it. Looking at it, I was like a little bit bored. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's got some cool elements, but it's boring. So what you're gonna do? I am adding this stuff. I found it on sale at Hobby Lobby. It's Master's Touch Opal Glitter Medium. And I love glitter and I love opals. So I thought, hey, what the hey, let's do this. We're gonna get back to consistency, you know, my my uh, goopy tar and jar. This stuff is like almost like as goopy. Look, it doesn't run at all. It's just like, bleh. oh, isn't it pretty though? See, from where I'm sitting, it looks all pink and purple, but from where the camera is, it's seeing the blues and the greens. So I tried to like drip this across the tile. And as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't spread too well. So I had the idea, not knowing what's in this. And honestly, I don't even know if it says, clear gel with reflective opal gem particles. Use alone or with acrylic paints to create glitter effects. Oh God, and I just dropped it on my pants. Ugh, I would. You know, it definitely doesn't say what's in this. And I thought maybe I would thin it and I thinned it with a little bit of polycrylic because I've got it handy. I keep some right here in a, in a condiment jar. It's very, very useful. Way better than getting out that giant, uh, you know, paint can and opening it. Ugh, no thanks, just pour some in a ketchup bottle and you're in business. Anyway. So I mixed some polycrylic in with the opal and it turned white, like white, 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 like a very strange chemical reaction, but it did make it easier to spread. So after I put the opal on, then I added this weird mixture of polycrylic and glitter, opal glitter medium, and got that. Hold on, this glitter on my pants is driving me nuts. Anyway, oh God, these are brand new pants too. Uh, it dripped it on just to dress up the whole thing and give it a little glitz and glam that I don't normally put in my fluid art. I think, no, this is definitely the first time I have put glittery anything directly on a piece of fluid art. So I think it turned out kind of fun. Since the stuff didn't pour the best, I couldn't really control it all that well. Thus, I futz around for a few minutes trying to get it where I want to go. Look at those boom cells. Those are awesome. They get from real big to real tiny. Such fun things you can do with this stuff. I can't wait because I just got a giant border of like, I don't know, 15 colors. Things make it a little uh, crazy up in here. Now the interesting thing, uh, and again, because the opal stuff doesn't say what it's made out of, I don't know what caused the chemical reaction, causing it to turn white. But the more interesting part Ah, is it was not dry after 24 hours. I touched it and a big glob came off on my finger. It kind of looked like a, you know, you know. So <laughs> we're just not gonna say that. It, <laughs> it didn't dry. So I ended up taking a big old chunk right out of the top of the tile, but that's okay. I just grabbed a toothpick and I 
went in there and made it look a little bit more natural with the black paint and everything. So 48 hours later, it was dry though. Isn't that kind of crazy? Because the rest of the paint was totally dry. And I'll show it to you, but it kind of formed some edges uh, where the paint met the, the glitter. It kind of parted a little bit, like made canyons. So I'm kind of curious if you know why, if you know what's in this, let me know. I'm pretty interested. All right, here it is dry after 24 hours. Um, this is after I have uh, fixed the gouge where I accidentally took out a big old glob of glitter. And you'll see that it still looks white where I mixed it with the polyacrylic. Isn't that curious? Still wet, still white. All right, here we go on day two, a slightly different environment, but you see the white isn't white anymore. It is clear now. It is stripes of glitter. It's very pretty. And it is dried at the touch at this point, but here you see the grooves where it like parted the Red Sea or parted the Black Sea, I suppose, the sea of paint, which is cool. It, it really kind of gave, gives it a cool texture. So I'm anxious to cover this one with resin and see what it looks like when it's all said and done. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna try some of that opal stuff yourself or let me know if you know the mystery as to why it is white and then not white and takes so very long to dry. Oh yeah, my hibiscus bloomed. Enjoy that too. We'll see you back here next week. I hope you have a great day and a lot of fun painting. <laughs>